Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to set up Query Creator to deploy applications directly on BeagleBoom Black via SSH. So this video, to understand this video, it is expected that you are following the process of installing cross-compiling toolchain and Qt libraries on the BeagleBoom Black as mentioned on the link given in the description. If you are not, please follow that and then visit this video. So we'll jump right into it. Open your Qt Creator. Under the Tools sections, go to Options. In the Build and Run, you need to add a new kit. Till now, when we when you were deploying applications on the desktop, you were using this kit. So now we need to add a new kit. So click on Add. Give a name to your kit. I'll call it Beaglebone Black. The device type will be generic Linux device. Now you need to add your BeagleBone as a device so it can access it via SSH. So click on Manage. Okay, I have uh, add, I added this device already. I'll just remove it and I'll show it to you again. Go on, click on Add. Click. It will be a generic Linux device. Give a name to your device. I'll call it. Beagle Bone Black Device. Give your IP address for the Beagle Bone. By default, it will be 192.168.7.2. The username will be your root and we don't have any password for the root by default if you have set any password please input the password in this section click on next and finish it tests if the connection is linked and it tells you that the device just went successfully so that now we are linked to the beagle boon via ssh click close apply go back to build and run and in the device section now you can add your beagle boon black device now you need to give path to the compiler, debugger and Qt versions which were availed to you after you extracted the cross-compiling toolchain. So click on manage, add, it will be a GCC compiler, give a name to this compiler, I will call it Beagle Bone Black GCC, give the path to this compiler, if till now you are, on, you are following me. This will be located in your file systems, user, local, angstrom, arm, bin, and your G++ compiler. So you have given part to the compiler, click on apply, go in the debugger section. Now we need to add debugger for the scene, click on add, give a name to your debugger, as you know, I will call it beagle bone black debugger now path for the debugger will be almost the same user local angstrom arm in the pen section click on the gdb this is your debugger click apply and um, okay now again go back to the kits so we are done with the device, we are done with the compiler, we are done with the debugger. We need to add a Qt version because this version was for the desktop based applications. So click on manage. We need to give path to the QMake, which is for your BeagleBoom Black. Click on add. And uh, again the same path, use the local angstrom arm, then QMake2. Make sure you select QMake2. And uh, you can give any name you want to the version I'll just keep it as the same click on apply and now when you go to the kits the name is good the device type is good device is good compiler is good debugger is good QD versions is good so this is your new kit which will which we will be using to access and deploy applications directly to the BeagleBone Black there are few more things to be done I'll be covering in the next video so keep posted. Thank you for watching.